the most important logical reason to be a little less logical a little more often is that when we're only being logical, we're not using our whole brain. We're not using all the power that we've got in our brains. So neither part of the brain really operates, neither one of those functions really operates very well without the other, and let me just show you. Here's, here's our brain operating in the logical mode. Um, and, and it's not just the prefrontal cortex, but it's the limbic system and the prefrontal working together, and it creates this very logical, linear, sequential way of thinking. It's very exacting, very precise, very detailed. It, it, takes one idea and builds on that logically so that you know, we can create stories and, and we can learn things and then build on a foundation of the things we learned. Uh, our brain makes patterns. So when we're using the logical mode, we're creating these patterns and we're going on with these patterns. And, and we follow rules and boundaries. This, this way of thinking creates rules and norms for us to follow and we follow them. And it's really, really powerful. We couldn't do a lot of science without this. We couldn't do accounting without this, for sure. We couldn't make plans without this. So it's a really, really wonderful capacity that our brains have. On the other side, and it's not really a side, but it's just another mode. In this other mode, we've got this wonderful capacity to be provocative, to generate new ideas. This, this way of thinking is very non-sequential. It's non-linear. It just sort of knows things all at once, kind of out of the ether. It feels like it's a magical part, and it is kind of. It grasps the big picture. While the other kind of thinking is very detailed, this is the one that makes meaning out of stuff. This is the one that gets metaphors. Some of the speakers talked about metaphors today. So without this, this kind of thinking, we wouldn't understand metaphors, we wouldn't catch nuances, we wouldn't be able to read emotions or even have emotions. So this part of the brain is very powerful. All right, but I ask you, what would happen if we only operated in the logical mode all the time? What would happen or what wouldn't happen in our companies? Just think about that. What, what wouldn't happen very much if we were only logical? No new ideas, no innovation, right? We do the same thing the same way over and over and maybe make some incremental changes. That's not what our award winners were doing today. On the other side, what if we behaved in a purely illogical, instinctive, intuitive kind of a way? What would happen if we did that? Basically nothing, right? No plans, no execution, nothing would actually happen. Well, the idea is we have to use both parts together.